My best friend has been using my pictures to catfish her boyfriend for five years. My best friend, Maggie, and I met during our freshman year of college. We are now roommates and moved in together two years ago. A couple of years ago, my best friend spent spring break a couple of states away and matched with a guy on Tinder. When she came back to campus she immediately told me about him and how amazing he was. I got super excited and asked to see a pic. That was the only picture of him she's ever shown me. Over the past five years, he's literally been her whole world. She talks about him constantly. She always has her nose in her phone. She gets clingy when he takes too long to text back. And she's cried to me a few times because she's lurked on his social media and seen he was around other girls. I had asked a few times why they have never met up again and she said they're both too busy and don't have the money for the trip. I even told her that he could stay with us and that would save some money. He sends presents and even flowers on Valentine's Day every year. They've basically been dating this whole time. So yesterday, my roommate picked up a shift at work and was gone. I get a knock on our door and I open it to a guy. He says hi, and I give him a really confused look. Then he barges in and scoops me up into a hug. He starts saying, I thought you were working? I was hoping your roommate was here so I could surprise you when you got back. I am so confused. I immediately get down and back away. And I let him know I have absolutely no clue what he's talking about. My brain can't even process what's happening. Then he looks confused, and says, Maggie? And I responded, no. That's my roommate? My roommate and I look nothing alike so I'm even more confused. Then something kind of clicks and I think oh my god is this the guy she's been dating? So I say, wait, are you Adam? And he gives me a drawn out yes, and I get excited and say, oh my god I bet Maggie is going to flip out. I can't believe you're here. His demeanor completely changes. He asks what I'm talking about. You're Maggie? And I tell him no, I'm Summer. Maggie's roommate. At this point, I'm still completely missing something he has just pieced together. He just says holy F, and looks like he doesn't know what to say. Eventually, he asks if he can sit down. I invited him in. He then proceeds to tell me for the past five years, he's thought he's been talking to me. Every picture he's ever seen of Maggie has actually been pictures of me. I'm completely dumbfounded and we don't know what to say to each other at first. So he gets out his phone and shows me proof. He has tons of pictures of me saved on his phone and went to their messages and showed me proof that she's been sending them to him. I felt and still feel completely sick to my stomach. I get out my phone and show him real pictures of her. I tell him maybe they could just talk when she gets off of work. And he's really pissed at this point. I say, maybe we should call her first and let her know you're here. So I do that and she starts flipping out. Saying she's not coming home. She tells him to leave and that she won't talk to him. He calls her and starts yelling at her over the phone. After everyone calmed down she eventually came home. He's hurt and accusing, she's crying, and I'm just sitting there awkwardly. She tells him that she's still the same person he's had feelings for and he screams at her, no, I thought I was in love with your roommate. And that completely makes her break down so I tell him maybe he should leave for the night and everyone should have their own space. He agrees and after he leaves she goes completely psychotic on me and starts throwing stuff around the living room. She told me she hated me, I started crying, it was a complete mess. So I left to stay with a friend. I feel like I have no idea who the person I'm living with is and I feel weirdly violated. So I decided I needed to get in contact with her boyfriend. I ended up having a phone call with Adam, mostly because I wanted to know about the pictures she sent. Turns out she sent pics of me in my underwear and nudes that aren't actually of me or her. So we're assuming she got those from Google. He feels really bad and is actually having a hard time with all of this. I assured him I don't blame him at all for the underwear pics, or anything like that. He ended up telling me that they actually have FaceTimed, but she would never show her face, only the top of her head and hair which is dyed a similar color to mine. And her excuse was she felt like she looked bad on video, was self-conscious, didn't have makeup on, and so on. Confusingly, he said he didn't think it was weird. He also told me he's tried a ton of times to arrange visits to meet and she's come up with excuses every time. He claimed that he was content just talking through text up until the surprise. He is completely cutting contact with her and is extremely traumatized from the whole ordeal. As for me, I'm not sure I can break my lease yet but I'm going to go ahead and move out. We briefly talked when I went to my apartment, and she sort of half apologized but was still pretty hostile and defensive. So I'm going to give her space. I feel bad for her, but I don't think our friendship is going to survive this whole thing.